The best recaps here. Today I'm going to explain a 1999 erotic mystery psychological drama film called Eyes Wide Shut. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In this film, it's a great night for a date in New York City, so Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman put on their sexiest outfits and go for a night in the town. I think they might have been married in real life during this, I don't know, where they meet this piano playing friend who is a failed doctor. While talking to the piano man, he gets an invitation to see him play piano somewhere else. Nicole gets herself into a strange sexual situation with the other guy, but so does her husband with two young hotties. He gets kidnapped away by staff to take care of some date rape situation upstairs by his boss, which is way uncool, Tom. After calling for an Uber for the victim, Tom and Nicole leave and stand in front of a mirror naked together. Later on, they are semi-naked fight about who is more loyal and why is it more important for your wife to tell your husband that she wanted to have sex with the Navy pilot. One of Tom's patients dies, so he drops the fight with his wife and rushes over so he can attempt to violate the sanctity of marriage once again. He tells her that she's just confused and that she doesn't want him to move to Michigan, or her, for her to move to Michigan. She doesn't want to move to Michigan. After leaving, Tom has a strange interaction with a pretty woman, but his wife calls him just as it's getting hot, so he decides to leave. He walks towards the place where his friend was playing piano and decides to pop by and say hello. His piano friend explains that he was just playing at an orgy and his blindfold fell off and he couldn't believe his eyes. Tom gets excited and the piano playing guy gives him the information about the party. He heads over to a costume shop and makes the owner wake up so he can have a costume to go to the orgy. The costume shop owner discovers his daughter having a little orgy of her own, so he puts a stop to it, and she embraces Tom for no reason. Women just really seem to like Tom Cruise. He gets into a cab and starts heading for the party. Meanwhile, he keeps fantasizing and thinking about his wife having sexy time with Navy officers. Tom crashes a very weird orgy and gets discovered after some time. He is interrogated by the orgy members. He trades places with the sex worker, and they let him go home. When he gets home, he hides his costume and wakes up his laughing wife. She tells him that she had a dream that she had sex with 101 Wen, and it was very vivid, like really vivid, like the kind of vivid you only get when you have sex with 101 men. He goes back to find the piano man, but the piano man is nowhere to be found. He returns the costume and discovers that the costume man and his daughter are doing sex work, and any time Tom wants, he's welcome to have sex with her. Or him. Maybe both. Confusing. Tom goes back to the orgy mansion and they give him a letter, tells him to buzz off and stop asking questions. He goes home, but he can't stop thinking about his wife's sexual fantasies. He takes a walk, but some guy, bald guy is following him, and he finds out that the date rape girl, who was the girl who took his place at the orgy during the interrogation, and that she might have AIDS or something. He goes to the morgue and finds out that she's dead, and nobody ever checks his ID. He's horrified when he sees the body. Under the weight of everything that's happened, Tom finally breaks down and tells his wife everything. They are both devastated, but they take their daughter out Christmas shopping. They decide to put everything behind them and have sex together as soon as possible. 